Hello everyone. Let's continue with our chapter Children of India written by Ruskin Bond. So um we have already discussed the introduction and the first two paragraphs given on page number 38. So we come to know that the writer here is talking about the children who come from different walks of life who belong to different households and what obstacles they have to face in order to reach their schools they have dreams in their eyes and how they walk towards them how they make their way towards them is the story about okay let's continue from the third paragraph many of the children are like ranbir poor but slightly better off than what their parents were at the same age they cannot attend the expensive residential and private schools that abound here but most go to the government aided schools with only basic facilities not many of their parents manage to go to school they spent their lives working in the fields or delivering milk in the hill station the lucky ones got into the army perhaps ranbir will do something different when he grows up he has yet to see a train but he sees planes flying over the mountains almost every day so many of the children who are, are going to the school are like ranbi they are poor but their present condition is better than what their parents condition was when they were children they cannot attend the expensive schools the private schools which are there they cannot attend them okay they cannot take that financial burden on themselves they don't have so much money to send their children to the private schools which are a lot here abound means a lot in number but most of them go to the government schools which only has basic facilities it doesn't have any kind of smart class the furniture is not so well framed then uh, the lighting the fans uh, the infrastructure the building is only basic not many of their parents managed to go to school and since their parents did not get the chance to go to school they want their children to attend school and do something good in life they spent their lives working in the fields or delivering milk in the hill station where did the parents go they did not attend the school but they worked in the field as farmers with their parents or delivering milk to the hill station so the children whom you can see in the picture their parents did not get the chance to go to school they spent their lives either working in the field or they had to go to deliver milk and that is how they made money the lucky ones got into the army and only a few youngsters got the chance to go into the army to get selected in the army perhaps that means maybe ranbir will do something different when he grows up he has yet to see a train but he has seen planes that means ranbir he has never seen a train you can see in the picture he is ranbir he has never seen a train but he has always seen planes flying over the mountain and how because every day the planes are flying over the mountain so he comes to the narrator and he asks how far can a plane go he asks all over the world i tell him thousands of miles in a day you can go almost anywhere so when ranveer asks this question how far can a plane go because this little boy did not have any idea about the plane so raskin bon tells him that the plane can take you all over the world it can reach thousands of miles in one day he can cross 4 miles in 4 to 5 hours but this aeroplane can cross thousands of miles in just one day i will go around the world one day he vows he is promising to himself vows means to take an oath he is promising to himself that one day he will buy a plane and he will go everywhere so just see how big his dream is he is not limiting himself to the present condition that he has look at his clothes as you can see they are torn as you can see on the pants there are patches then look at his shoes he is not limiting himself to his present condition he is not thinking that i am poor i cannot buy a plane no 
he has big dreams and that is why he comes to school every day he make he's making himself better each and every day so that he can achieve his goal he can achieve his dream okay so before we move further let's uh, do this question it says ranbir wants to buy a dash and go everywhere so ranbir wants to buy a plane okay we cannot write aeroplane why because it is a before the blank okay so we will be writing plane okay got it all right and then he says and maybe he will the writer says and i think he can achieve his dream and he will achieve his dream he has a determined chin and a defiant look in his eye that means he has that seriousness on his face when he's talking about his dreams these lines in my journal were put down for my own inspiration or encouragement but they will do for any determined young person he says that i have written these lines maybe he will he has written these lines in his diary journal is the diary put down means to write so he has written these lines in his diary for his own motivation for his own inspiration and encouragement which means motivation but they will do for any determined young person he says but these lines are going to work more for a young person who is determined who is focused on achieving his or her dream we get out of life what we bring to it now here in this paragraph the poet is telling us about his experience what he has experienced was what he has observed in life so he is giving us a life lesson here he says we get out of life what we bring to it that means what you sow so shall you reap the amount of hard work you put in something the result will depend on that so we get out of life what we bring to it there is not a dream which may not come true if we have the energy which determines our own fate he says that no dream is impossible if you have the energy if you are totally focused towards working on your dream if you are totally determined on reaching your destiny if you are totally determined to achieve your goal then no dream is impossible you can achieve everything we can always get it what we want if we will in intensely enough he says that if you will something intensely enough that means if you strong if you have a strong desire if you want if you have a strong will to get something to achieve something in life it may come when no longer you have use of it it may come a little late but if you have that strong desire going it will definitely come to you suppose you're working on something suppose you're making a painting and it's very difficult for you to concentrate on the details but you're still working every day you're you're adding small small details to the painting every day so one day after a week after 15 days 20 days after a month that painting will get complete it will come out as a masterpiece right so that is what he is saying that keep working towards your goals you don't have to stop because the results will surely come you will achieve your dream if you are working towards it every day okay then he talks about what he has observed in the society about girls going to school he says up to a few years ago very few girls in the hills or in the villages of india went to school they helped in the home until they were old enough to be married which wasn't very old but there are now just as many girls as there are boys going to school he says up to a few years ago i did not see a lot of girls of the hills or of the villages going to school they had they were always working their mothers in the household courses until they were old enough to be married and the age at which they were married off it wasn't very old it was young age but now i can see the change i can see equal number of girls and boys going to school that is a good change right 
Next, we come with another character whose name is Bindra. She's a girl and she loves talking. She is an extrovert. She's really confident. And the narrator here is talking about this girl, Bindra. So, Bindra is something of an extrovert, a confident 14-year-old who chatters away as she hurries down the road with her companions. So, Bindra is an extrovert that means she is very much comfortable around people she is very confident around people she is 14 year old who likes to talk who likes to talk with her friends as she is going to school as she walks down the road to her school companions means friends her father is a forest guard and knows me quite well who is me here the narrator so her father Bindra's father is a forest guard and knows Ruskin Bond very well. I met him on my walk through the Deodar woods behind Landor. And Ruskin Bond says that he had met Bindra's father when he was walking through the timber woods. That means the forest of timber behind Landor. Behind uh, Landor. Landor is a place um, nearby Masuri. So when he was walking in that forest, there he had met Bindra's father because her father is a forest guard. And I had grown used to seeing Bindra almost every day. When she did not put up in an appearance, that means when she, I could not see her, when she did not appear for a week, I asked her brother if anything was wrong. And then what happened? She did not come to school for one week. The narrator did not see him going to school. So he was a little worried that what had happened to Bindra? Why is she not coming to school? So he asked Bindra's brother what was wrong. Oh, nothing, he says. Who is he here? Bindra's brother. He says, oh, nothing has happened. She's helping my mother cut grass. Soon the monsoon will end and the grass will dry up. So we cut it now and store it for the cows in winter. So let's read this box first and then I will explain you that line. Winters are severe in the hills. That means Severe means very strong. With heavy snowfall making it impossible for people to come out of their homes for several days. So in hilly areas, winters are very much severe. It is a heavy snowfall which makes it impossible, which does not allow the people to come out of the house for several days. They have to stay in the house for weeks and they have to store enough food for it now. Yes, they have to keep extra food with them so that if they are not able to go outside the house to buy food, they have enough in the house. And they have to store food not only for them but also for animals. So they usually do this before winter when plants have not dried up yet. So when plants are still luscious, when plants still have water in them, they cut, they harvest those uh, plants so that they can store it for winter season for themselves also for the animals so that is what bindra's brother is saying that bindra is helping the mother to cut grass so that they can store it for the cows in winter season and why aren't you cutting grass too what are you doing here you should also go and help mother oh i have a cricket match today he says and hurries away to join his teammates so he says, I have a cricket match today. He was very excited about it. And after saying this, he just ran, ran away. Unlike his sister, he puts pleasure before work. So Bindra was much more considerate about which thing should come first, which thing to prioritize. So she kept work first and then her enjoyment. So she skipped school so that she can help her mother but here Bindra's brother for him it was enjoyment first and work later on okay then he talks about the game this ch these children are playing as you can see what are they playing yes they are playing cricket so earlier cricket was the game of elites that means only rich people used to play cricket but now it has become the game of the masses that means it has become the game of the ordinary people also the common man also plays cricket on any holiday now he he's giving us his observation what he has observed so on any holiday in any part of this vast country group of boys 
groups of boys can be seen working their way to the nearest field or open patch of land with bat, ball and any other cricketing gear that they can cobble together. So he is saying that on any holiday, if it is a holiday, be it Sunday or any festival, so on that day, if it is a holiday of school, then he has seen groups of boys going towards an open patch of land, an open field, what with what? With their cricket gears. That means bat, bo ball and anything else which they can bring together so that it works as an equipment in their game. As these boys have done, as you can see, they have used these bamboo sticks to make the wickets and here they have piled up, stacked up these bricks so that it works as a wicket. So cobble up together means to produce something very quickly so that it can be used. It might not be perfect but it can be used. Watching some of them play I am amazed at the quality of talent at the finesse with which they bat or bowl. And he says that I am totally amazed, I am totally taken aback, I am totally surprised by the amount of talent these children have. They have not got any training, still they are playing so well. They are batting so well, they are bowling so well, they are fielding so well. So he is totally amazed that these children have not got any training. They also might not have any television in the house that they can see cricketers playing on the television. Still they play so well. How is it possible? So he is very much amazed. Then he says some of the local teams are as good if not better than any from the private schools where there are better facilities. Now he is making a comparison between the teams who belong to the, the government schools and the private schools. He is making a comparison now between the opportunities that the children who belong to rich class and the poor class. The amount of opportunities, the amount of chances of getting something they have. So he says that the local teams, that means children who belong to the local area schools, that means the government schools, they are as good as the team which belong to the which belongs to the private schools. If not better, they are at par with them. They are as good as the children who are from private schools. And private schools have better facilities. Still, these children who belong to government schools, they have no facilities of any training in cricket. Still, they are so good. But the boys from these poor or lower middle class families will never get the exposure that is necessary to bring them to the attention of those who select state or national teams. But then he sighs. He says that these children will never get the opportunity, will never be able to show their talent to those who select the national teams or state teams. They will never get near enough to the men of influence of and power because they don't have that exposure they don't know where to go in order to get selected they don't have a proper amount of training they don't they lack guidance they don't have anybody to give them guidance so they are not able to get that exposure they must continue to play for the love of the game to watch their more fortunate heroes exploits on television but then he says that they must not lose hope. They must continue playing the game for they love the game. The reason they should continue playing is because they love the game so much that these things, the exposure should not matter to them and they should just keep on playing. The destiny would play its role. They should focus on perfection and to watch their more fortunate heroes exploits on television and to watch the people who get a chance, who are fortunate enough, who are lucky enough to get a chance to get selected and then watch them show their act on television. Exploits, that means brave or exciting or interesting acts. Okay. As winter approaches and the days grow shorter, those children who live far away must quicken their pace in order to get home before dark. Ranbir and his friends find that darkness has fallen before they are halfway home. He says that as winter approaches, that means as winter season comes and the days become shorter, those children who live far away, they should walk fast 
so that they can reach home before it gets dark in winter season the days are shorter ranbir and his friends find that darkness has fallen that means it was already dark as they before they have reached halfway home now they have to walk faster okay i hope you must have understood till here and uh, i'll continue in the next video all right